and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to be going over the Madden market now. Guys, again, with this week, with all the things going over throughout this week that I probably mentioned in the last video, if you guys saw that first, there's a lot of things to go over with this market. If you guys don't already know, the market crashed, it was destroyed completely because of NFL 100, and guys, NFL 100 is going to be a weekly thing now with tons of players, so the market is going to be dead, like, I think Madden might have killed the market for quite some time, like, it might not recover for quite a while, because if NFL 100 drops this many cards every week, obviously this was a different dynamic, right? Because these were Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson, Jim Brown. These were like the, this game's a running game. We all love our running backs. We all love our running back abilities. So everyone went out to get these. I don't know if every position will kill the market like this, but they, it definitely won't help. Like one month, 10 player alone killed part of the market. And now we're getting like four to seven of these guys. Like that, that's crazy that we're getting so many of these guys. So I want to go over the market now and then also give you guys some insight going over how the NFL 100 could affect the market going forward how the blitz promo could affect the market we'll go over everything for you guys so stay through stay here throughout the entire video so you guys can hear everything because i'm not going to go over now i'm gonna go over tomorrow the next day the following week into december give you guys a, a outlook of how the market will probably go from here on out in my opinion as long as the nfl 100 is going to be around the market is not safe no position safe that's why holding on to cards at this point in the game might not even be the safest idea I'd probably like to, I don't even know. It's going to be tough because people might start pre-selling for NFL 100. There's going to be so much to go over. We obviously have an idea of who we'll be getting because of the NFL 100 list is actually posted. You know, like they, they vote, they, they get that done. So we have an idea of who we'll be getting. It's just a matter of when they drop, how people will react to it. So it all depends on the names picked. Now guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Can we get to 13K by tomorrow? That'd be awesome, guys. You guys have been killing the subscribe, that, that subscribe button. Like, all of you guys who are new to the channel, thank you guys for joining. You won't regret it. You're going to have tons of fun here, tons of info here. And, guys, if we keep going at this rate, we could potentially be a legitimate channel come next year in Madden. So, thank you guys for that. Comment down below what you guys think the trend's going to be. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Can we get 300 likes in this Market Talk video? You guys have been smashing the like button. Let's keep that going, guys. Now, let's head over to the market and show you guys some of the trends now. Show you guys this barren wasteland of a market. So I'm going to start a little bit higher this day, today because I don't want to talk about the market. I don't want to talk about the auction block the whole time. I want to get into some of the future stuff that's going to come out. So I start at the 88s to 89s. So 88s to 89s, still in the 50k range. Obviously, if you fill them out, you're going to find them there. That hasn't changed too much. Again, after the crash, they kind of are what they are at this point. They're not coming back up. And as and every time they try to come back up, the new NFL 100 is going to come out. It's going to drop them right back down. So guys, you have to anticipate this, that as long as they're not LTD in their actual market cards, because that's the difference, right? My time was LTD. So it was a lot harder to impact the market, but these are not LTD. These are going to come out as regular cards with regular training values and everything, and they're going to destroy. So you have to un anticipate that. So from my opinion, the best trend you could keep up on is when NFL 100 drops, buy cards. When NFL 100 is out of the game for a little bit, sell cards. So my opinion would be like this. So let's say come Friday, they drop the NFL 100 cards. These 88 overalls come down to like 45K. You buy like 20 of them. Then you wait till like Tuesday, like today. Oh, they're back up to 60K. You sell all 20 of them. You make probably like 10K back in profit. You made 200K worth of profit total because you made 10K per card. You bought 20 of them times 20 is 200K. So that is my best recommendation that I could do as far as NFL 100, as far as that goes. There'll be things in between that come out that could also skew the market, but I think NFL 100 is going to be the main thing. So if you guys stay vigilant and stay on top of that, you could be pretty good considering the, the I, I like to say like Monday through Wednesday is like Madden Limbo. It's like market starts to rise up a little bit not too much can kill the market unless it's like a crazy team of the week drop we should be okay 90s are back at a 111 if you guys didn't already know these were in like the 90k range uh when nfl 100 first dropped so again you buy a bunch of cards when nfl 100 drops screw the nfl 100 at first come over to the market and start buying a bunch of cards people are selling cards rapidly because they want to build up their coin stack people will sell henderson for 95k they just want to get their coins up as quickly as possible so they can go buy one of the nfl 100 players so make sure you're staying on top of that i would have done it that day but i was on top of i did this i made the same mistake i went for barrier right away i powered them up i spent all my coins and now i'm broke and that was kind of my fault because i went all in and i didn't invest in cards first but guys, NFL 100, just like my 10, gives you guys great investment opportunities. I recommend you guys take advantage of that. There could be there's so many coins to be made, and you have to anticipate that the Blitz NFL 100 is going to crash it again. Now, the Blitz possibly could uncrash it, but only temporarily, right? So I'll go into all that as we get into the video, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to go over how the Blitz could uncrash it, and then obviously going into how the harvest and everything so it's like the NFL 100 will crash it, and the Blitz could actually uncrash it for a little bit. But that's why you want to pick up cards 
during the 100 crash because the blitz get on crash and you make coins. I always tell you guys that, excuse me, that the best cards and the best investments and the best way to make coins is always to follow the trade, like the wave, like, you know, like the trough of the wave, the peak, like you always want to follow that. So when NFL 100 uh, crash the market, you buy, 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 buy. And then when the blitz comes out and things go back up, maybe you sell, sell, sell or vice versa in between NFL 100 drops. I'll go over all that. Obviously though, I don't want to say it all now because then I'll, I'll put that right in the middle. I'm trying to get through this first. So 92 is a 200 K. Like I said, these were like 185, 190 when the crash first happened. They're obviously coming back up to like the 220 range, a little higher than anticipated. Andre Rue is in the 285 range. Everyone's coming down and coming back up. I mean, now the Reduxes haven't really recovered, but that's because they're not the most valuable cards in the game anymore. So like people see before they were like the it cards, like, wow, you needed some, you needed some of these mud tank cards. Now they're not. So they're coming down quite a bit. Alvin Kamara was like 185, 215. So he obviously came up. Michael Vick's at 420. So he's staying down. Gronk's staying down. Let's see. Randy Moss is in his right price. I don't want him anymore because I do have Michael Irvin and show you guys real quick. Michael Irvin is definitely the better receiver by far, by far. Like he beats a medium route running, short route running, spec catch, catching traffic, catch, jumping, speed. Only thing is height and he gets better spin and juke. So, and stiff arm. So I'd recommend you stay with your Michael Irvin. Randy Moss is not worth the price anymore. Kittle needs to come down a little bit as is Aaron Donald. But a lot of these guys like Dion's coming down quite a bit. So series reduction is going to be quite affordable for you guys in the near future. So make sure you're staying on top of that. Whenever you guys feel like pulling the trigger, you can go for that. Now the 94, 95s. Guys, these might be done. I doubt these will come back up in price too much. For the time being, they might be a pretty decent training value. I'm not entirely sure, but they're 411. These were 520, and then NFL 100 sent them right down 100K. So, if you guys don't remember, these were five. These were like 520. NFL. So I said don't buy them yet. NFL 100 dropped. I'd recommend buying them. And, and like now, I think it's a great time to buy. Like you can, if you want them, you can buy them now. They're a lot cheaper than they were. Guys like Barry Sanders are 581. They're gonna get pretty cheap. Now the and then next set of NFL 100 packs should not include the players that in, are in this one. So I think that if these are out of packs now specifically, it could come up in value a bit. So if you guys want to pick them up in the 500k range, I would not, I wouldn't say anything against it. Although they probably will come down if new running backs come out, but for the time being, they're going to be the best ones. So you don't have to worry too much about that specifically. But like I was saying, as far as getting into the blitz, so he, here, here's my here's my theory, right? Or not really a theory, it's kind of a fact, but I'll get into this. So Thursday night. If the blitz drops a training, like a training thing, right? If a blitz drops a training promo where like they actually use training value for some packs, right? And that's the first blitz. Training is going to skyrocket if the offer is good and cards are going to go up. You want to sell right there. You want to sell because people are going to be buying rapidly for training. Let's say you sell, you make 400K. Then the next day NFL 100 drops and prices crap like that's it they get destroyed now you buy them back now you made 400k back and then you only buy them all back for 300k now you made 100k then later that day the next blitz promo drops at midnight and it's another training offer training goes right back up oh by the way when it goes down you want to buy back now training goes back up so now you have that extra 100k right now you buy 400k worth of cards oh no you already bought 400k worth of cards now the training goes back up now you sell them all now you make 500k or 600k then you wait a few days, maybe it's not training this time, maybe price come back down. You guys understand the, the the trend that I'm trying to explain to you guys that if you guys could play the NFL 100 and Blitz promo properly, you can make hundreds of thousands of coins. I'm telling you, Thanksgiving day, there's probably gonna be a bundle. Prices are gonna come down, buy some cards. Then the Blitz is gonna come out to be like, oh, mate, let's just say if it is, if this is the case, um, 2000 training for a platinum player pack, people are gonna go crazy, right? You're gonna buy the pack, or let's say 1,500 training for a platinum player pack. People are gonna buy tons of training. Everything you just see the market, all the bottom training pieces are gonna be flying off the market. You can resell those 92s for probably once, like 270 each. Then you make all these coins, and then at midnight, like I said, or the next day, the NFL 100s come out, and then the smart the market dies again, and then again you just repeat. Now you buy them all back, and then you sell them again. Guys, I'm telling you that is a foolproof way to make coins. I always, I always like revert back to this that during the Christmas promo I made 10 million coins last year doing this. Now. That was because I already had 2 million coins. So for me, it was a lot easier because I was able to buy like 20 cards that went for 200K and they all went up to 400K. So I made double and then I did it again. So I kept making double off the 2 million coins. Obviously, if you only have 200K, you can only do so much. But from 200K doing this, you could potentially get up to like a million coins or if I, I think 500K is a better price. So you can uh, you can get like 400K worth of cards, get close to like an extra 20% markup. 
you could potentially get to a million coins if you do it from 500k i think from 200k you'll probably get more like six 700k but the point is that it can be done for almost anyone any price point because training is training people are going to buy it as it is although the better training options are the higher overall so most people are probably into buying those so you, you have to probably stay within that range now with the new nfl 100s coming out this friday the market's going to crash again now probably going to crash more on the defensive side because it's going to be defensive players although it, i think it's going to crash everything the nfl 100 people went crazy the first time around you have to anticipate that too people went crazy for the first set of nfl 100 players because that was the first one we didn't know it was coming people went crazy they didn't know how to react this time we know it's coming we might react more broad people are going to buy it in advance people are going to be ready for this a little bit better so i don't think the market will die as badly but it definitely will crash a bit especially if they drop guys like lawrence taylor because people could say oh i'm not going to get into that and they drop lawrence taylor the greatest defensive player and you're gonna be like whoa okay i'm gonna spend all my money so you know take my money now so it all really depends on how people react to it people determine how things turn out in the market but in, in essence guys play the training market play the nfl 100 drops be ready for everything i will have videos going out for you guys daily so i'm always gonna have i'm always gonna help you guys obviously with all this stuff but as of now the market's crashed it's slowly coming back up but the nfl 100 is gonna kill it as will blitz could kill or make it it all depends if they drop training mark's gonna fly back up if blitz doesn't drop training mark's gonna fly back down it all really depends on what people end up doing but guys i recommend you stay on top of that do not waste your opportunity. There's going to be plenty of opportunity. And if you guys miss out this time, it's okay because Christmas, I'm telling you, Christmas is always the best promo to make money. So you still have a second chance if you guys do end up blowing this one. It's all up to you guys, though. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this market video. Hopefully, this helps you guys. I do have probably four videos coming out for you guys today, so stay tuned for all those. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noni bell, boys. Come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that come every day. Can we hit 13K by tomorrow? That'd be awesome. So if, you guys are new, if you're new and watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below anything you guys think as far as the trends. You guys think I should have added something. Let me know down below. And let's get over 300 likes in this video. Everyone watch if you made it this far. Smash the like button. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much every day for coming out. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.